Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kayla. I'm a full-time reseller. I sell on Poshmark, Macari, eBay, and Facebook Marketplace, also known as Thrifty Mom of Two here on this YouTube channel. And one of my favorite things to sell, and actually the item that I sell the most of in my online stores is shoes. So in today's video, I wanna go through my little cart here, which I know is a little hard to see. I will put a better picture of it on the screen, but I wanna go through my little cart here and show you guys all of my shoe cleaning supplies. I feel like I get asked this question a lot over on my Instagram, which I'm also thrifty mom of two on Instagram. I will link it down below if you guys wanna follow me over there. You can definitely uh, send me any questions you might have. Um, I tend to check my Instagram a little bit more than my YouTube, so if you wanna get a hold of me sooner rather than later, definitely um, message me over there. But I do get asked a lot about cleaning shoes, what products I use, and how I use them. So in today's video, I'm just gonna go through my little shoe cleaning rack here, show you guys what's on it, what kind of stuff I use. I'm not gonna actually show you how I use them in this video, we'll do that in a whole separate video. Um, so stay tuned for that. I will show you guys how I use all of these. We'll probably even clean some shoes together. Um, this video is just going to be showing you what's on my shoe cleaning cart. All right, guys, so first up is probably my favorite tool. This has made my life so much easier. I highly, highly recommend this if you are going to be cleaning a large amount of shoes. I clean probably 50 plus pairs of shoes per week. 50 to 100 pairs, I would say. And this has saved my hands and my arms a ton of work. It is um, Ryobi. I don't know if I'm pronouncing the, brown, the brand correctly. It's a little drill brush. I did get this one from Home Depot. I think it was about $50. Um, and it does come with a bunch of these little interchangeable brush heads. This is the black one, which is the heavy duty. Um, I did have to buy this separately. I think they're around maybe like $10. Um, it does come with a couple. I don't know if I have them here. Yeah, so it comes with this one, which is a soft bristle brush, um, which is also good for like the upper part of shoes if you don't want, um, if you don't want it to scrub too hard, like maybe on fabric or something but this is what I use for the bottom of shoes. It works amazing. I'm just gonna turn it on real quick so you guys can hear it and see it. Yeah, so easy, love this thing, highly recommend. It is a lifesaver. I will probably actually get another one as well just to have a backup. All right guys, so the next brush I have here is also another, this one's battery powered. Um, just a lot smaller brush. This one is really good for like little small cracks that you need to get into. I love using this one for the inside of shoes. Sometimes you know you have to get in there and clean the insoles a little bit. And um, if the insoles actually don't remove out of the shoe, this one works perfect to kind of get in there and clean them. Um, but yeah, also battery powered, great little brush. This one is by the brand Rubbermaid and I believe this one is from Target. I'm sure you guys can Google a lot of these. If I can find the links for them, I will post them in the drop down box below. Um, but I'm sure they're, you know, you can Google them or find similar brands. Okay, these next brushes, I need to get new ones because these ones are getting pretty worn out, but I love these so much. These are also from Target and um, they just work amazing. So these are just little handheld brushes. I have just a little bit bigger one and then a smaller one here. This one has like this little pick on the end, which is great. And yeah, I just use these um, mainly for like the midsole of shoes and sometimes a little bit if I'm stain treating the upper part of the shoe, I'll use the little one here. Um, but these, you can tell I get a lot of use out of, absolutely love them. Okay, and then the last brush I think I have or that I use on a regular basis is this one here. This is just a suede brush. It's got the two different sides. And I get asked a lot how I clean suede. There's really no magic trick. Suede is really hard to clean. 
this is pretty much what I do for suede. If um, a shoe has a ton of stains or marks on the suede, I typically won't source them. I will leave them behind. If it's just a little bit, um, a few marks that can be buffed out here and there, I just dry brush suede. That's pretty much all I do to it. And this little guy here definitely comes in handy. I almost forgot you guys, I should add this little cart here. It has three tiers to it. I know you can't see the bottom tier, but I love this. It is perfect for holding all of my shoes, shoe cleaning supplies. Um, when I sit at the table to clean shoes, I pull this up right next to me um, so that I have everything really um, easily accessible to me and it fits everything great. And this was very, very affordable. I think it was only $18 also from Target. Again, I will try to link it down below if I can find it. All right, guys, so let's talk about some of my favorite shoe cleaning sprays here. So first and foremost, these are my absolute go-to, my favorite shoe cleaning sprays. I've tried a bunch and I just love these. Um, first, I have here the Mr. Clean Freak Deep Cleaning Mist. This is my go-to. I absolutely love it. Not only does it smell amazing, which is great for shoes, um, but it does the job. So I use this a lot on the bottom and midsoles of shoes along with this spray. It's just a Dawn dish soap that I use to clean the bottom of shoes. I love it in the spray version because I can spray these on the bottom of shoes and then come in with my little drill brush and easily clean everything up. Must haves for sure um, on my cart here. All right guys, so two other products I use quite a bit are these right here. Um, these are great for removing scuffs and cleaning the midsoles of shoes. I love using um, just rubbing alcohol and also Goo Gone. This is great if you have any gunk stuck on the bottom of your shoes. I know sometimes um, you'll find a really good pair of shoes that you just don't wanna leave behind, but maybe there's gum or something sticky there. Um, this stuff works great. I use both of these a lot on these little magic erasers, which are also a must have. I have a bunch of these. I keep a whole box of them on my little cart here. So sometimes we also have to clean the upper part, maybe like the fabric area of shoes as well. Um, so I do keep some stain removers on my cart here. I like to just keep some OxyClean um, so that I can spot treat if I need to. And then I also keep these little tied to go pins which come in handy. I love these, especially if there's just like some little marks, maybe somebody dripped like, I don't know, some food or something on the top of their shoe and you just need to get like some little spots off. These come in handy, love them. I always have some stain remover and stuff on my shoe cleaning rack. Okay, so here's a couple other things I keep on here. I always have lint rollers handy. You can never have enough of these just to get the hair off of shoes. I keep a little lighter handy. Um, this is good for like little extra strings and stuff that you want to maybe burn off um, that are sticking out, you know, on the edge of shoes um, or suede. If you have some suede that is, that is maybe a little too, um, what's the word, like shaggy looking, you can definitely clean it up a little bit with a lighter. Okay, I also keep this little tub up here. Um, this, I don't actually use Cascade for anything. I just keep the tub just to hold some small things that are harder to find. Um, one of the things I usually keep in here is this little nail. It's just a little regular nail you would put, you know, hang something up on your wall with. And I use these to pick rocks out of the bottom of shoes. Um, they work really well. I also keep my shoe glue in here. Um, this one is just from Amazon. You can really get any, you know, brand you want. I do really like this one because it does dry clear. So you don't have to worry about, um, you know, making a mess when you are fixing shoes. And then I also keep one of these little things. I don't, know what they're called. I know you can use them to like trim your facial hair, um, but I use it to, you can get these in like the women's like beauty section, but I use these to trim the fuzzies off of the inside lining of the shoe, like back in the heel area where sometimes you get those sock fuzzies that stick to the shoe. This works great. You could just shave those little fuzzies off um, and it's super easy. So love that. All right guys, so next up on the middle shelf here, I always keep some boxes of gloves handy. I do like to put on gloves when I'm cleaning shoes. 
uh, mainly just to protect my skin from like some of these products like the rubbing alcohol and the Goo Gone and stuff. It definitely will dry out your skin. And yeah, my skin, um, for a long time I wasn't wearing glove and my hands were so dry and my skin was peeling and it was just awful. So I do um, recommend wearing gloves and I just keep these ones handy um, so I can easily throw them away. I also keep this on here. I do keep it in a little plastic bag because this little bottle tends to leak. Um, but this is just some all natural boot oil by Red Wing is the brand. You can really get any brand you want. Um, this one my husband just got with some of his work boots. I don't know if he got it free or, I don't know, he just had it already, um, which is why I used it or why I still use it. This bottle has lasted forever. I have not purchased another one yet. I've had this one forever. And then I have this, um, which is also really nasty. Don't judge me, but I have this little brush here. This is what I use to rub the oil into the leather, you guys. Putting boot oil on dry or just scuffed up leather shoes can make a huge difference. If I can find a photo of like a before and after, I know I recently did this on a pair of Keen hiking boots and they went from looking, um, you know, worn to almost brand new. So definitely recommend if you're going to be selling leather shoes, have a good leather conditioner or uh, leather oil handy. Okay, I also keep these little shoe inserts handy. I keep a pair of these. Um, sometimes it is easier to scrub and clean shoes if you can stuff them with something. So I do keep these handy just in case I need to do that um, while I'm cleaning them. Okay, back here I have a couple. This one's almost empty, but it's my absolute favorite. I just have a couple fabric refreshers. I try not to pick up any shoes that are smelly or anything like that, but sometimes, you know, shoes might just have like a strange smell um, I don't know, maybe they just smell like that person or that person's house or whatever. There's maybe it's a strong smell, like a really strong perfume or just something you want to try to cover up a little bit. And this is what I use. Um, I love this one. I need to get another bottle. Um, you can get these, I think from Target. This one smells so good. Um, not only the reason this is gone is not only because do I sometimes freshen up shoes with this, but I also just love spraying this, um, this fabric spray on like my couches and just other areas of my house, my carpet even. I just think this one smells so good. I absolutely love it. And then of course I just have some regular Febreze spray, which is good for just eliminating odors. Um, you know, nothing too strong. You don't want to be spraying your shoes with like perfume or anything that would irritate. Um, maybe your potential customers. You just sometimes want to mask um, other smells. Occasionally, sometimes when I do source shoes offline, um, they may come in and they may have a smoke smell or something to them um, that I wasn't aware of because I did source the shoes online. Um, so there's a lot of tricks to trying to get that smoke smell off. Um, one of the things I like to do is spray them with a spray like this. I stuff them with dryer sheets, wrap them in dryer sheets, a lot of times, um, if it's really bad, I will stick them in plastic baggies with the dryer sheets and then put them in my freezer, which um, a lot of times helps. I can put them out on my porch sometimes. They just need to kind of air out. Um, but yeah, that's basically what these are for. I don't spray all of my shoes with this stuff. This is mainly just, you know, any shoe that needs it, I guess. You guys know what I mean, right? <laughs> All right, guys, and then the last thing I have on this middle shelf here, I just keep this little baggie handy, and this is just my leather dye. So I do have like the boot oil, but I also keep like a black leather dye handy. Um, sometimes you get like scuffs on the toes of like Doc Martens, for example, or other black boots, and this will cover them up really well, um, make the boots look nice and shiny again. I have a shoe polish in here if I need it in the black, which is also great. It basically kind of does the same thing. And then some saddle soap. This is um, a leather cleaner also by Red Wing. Um, so sometimes you do need to, sometimes like the leather, even on the upper part of boots can be dusty or dirty. So you want to clean them before you condition them. Um, you don't want to be putting like your oils or your leather dye or anything like that on top of the dirt. So make sure you are getting that um, leather clean first. And this is what I use with the saddle soap. All right, so I think that's pretty much it. I know I didn't show you guys this bottle here. This is grandma's sneaker cleaner. 
Um, I do like this. I got this off Amazon. I did buy two bottles of it. It's not my favorite. I don't know if I'll reorder it. I'm definitely not going to waste it though. It's not terrible. Um, it is good for cleaning the bottom of shoes. So I do use it for that. Um, but again, it's not my favorite. I prefer this combo over this stuff. Um, it's just my personal preference. I just think this works a lot better. Um, but I do have this, um, just because I did want to try it. All right, so that just leaves the bottom part of the shelf here, which again, I know you guys can't see, um, but all I keep on this bottom part is my shoe cleaning rag. So I just have a bunch of rags, like extra rags down here, um, just dirty ones, washcloths, stuff that we don't use around the house anymore that I saved for my shoe cleaning. These are all clean, you guys, I promise they're not dirty. This is just how much I use them. Even out of the wash, they are stained. Um, but yeah, I just, um, I like these microfiber towels a lot. These are really good just because they do absorb a lot of liquid. Um, they're great if you do need to soak shoes maybe for a little bit um, in like OxyClean. That's another thing I use. I don't keep it on my rack here because I don't have anywhere to soak the shoes here, but I also use OxyClean quite a bit to um, soak shoes that may need it. But yeah, just that's all that is down here, just extra towels. All right, guys, so that is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, let me know if you have any questions about any of these products. You can leave a comment down below or go over to my Instagram and message me. I will do a follow-up video eventually where we will use some of these products and maybe clean some shoes together. I'll talk about different scenarios, different type of ways that I am able to clean, you know, certain things that you commonly see come up on shoes that you're purchasing um, secondhand. But other than that, you guys, I hope you guys have a great day, a great rest of your week, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.